Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Life of Business Analyst. Today, I'm going to show you how to import data to Power BI from Microsoft Excel and create a basic pivot and also enable slicer. I'm going to use the same example which I used in my previous video for create, importing the data into Excel and creating tables. So I'm going to use use the same raw data here. So you have your you have the sales and quantity sold by a vendor for a particular day. So you have the items listed here and also the quantity. And also you have the item listed here and also the selling price. So I'm going to use this data, import this data into a pivot, into a Power BI and create a pivot and also show you how to create the slicer. So I have opened the Power BI desktop version. So let me export the data. Sorry, import the data. Sales example. Let's wait for a while while it established the connection. So I'm going to use these two tables, quantity sold and also the selling price. So I load the data. Like 10 to 15 seconds to load. Okay. So now, if you go to the icon relationship, you can see uh, the relationship has been auto established between item. Okay, since the names are same in these two tables, it, the Power BI automatically detects the relationship. So now, to create the metrics or pivot, it's called metrics in Power BI. In Excel, we call it as pivot. So, so before. So you have uh, under the visualization pane, you have uh, different options like creating reports, tables, slicer, etc. So let me select the metrics. You can see uh, when you hover your mouse over these icons, you can see the metrics. So select metrics. So so let me select these metrics now. So I want to add the item sold by the vendor. So let me drag and drop into the rows. Okay, so yeah, you can see the items. And I want to see quantity. Let me bring into the columns. Oh, sorry. Okay. I want this as a values because it's a values. Okay, so you can see the items and quantity. Okay, so let me bring it to the center okay so now you have the price here but I, I i don't want to bring in the price so i want to create a, a new measure okay so it's it, the measure will be sales revenue so sales revenue is equal to quantity multiplied by price so let me add this new measure here sales revenue Is equal to quantity sold multiplied by sum of price. Price hit enter, and you have you can see on the right side a new measure has been added here. So, what I'll do is and just drag and drop here. Okay, so you can see you have item, quantity, and also you have the sales revenue. Okay, so now, okay, so this is a basic pivot. Okay, and now I need to add some slicer. So what I'll do is select this slicer option here. Okay, and then probably let me arrange it somewhere here. And then let me click on this so it gets highlighted. And now let me drag and drop to the field. 
Okay, so you have your items. And also you have your pivot here. So whenever you select some, some items here, say example rise, so the pivot filters are only for this particular item. So you can see you, ha you have a quantity 50 and the sales revenue to the final. If you want to see the combination of, for example, rice and coffee powder, you can see here you have sold 54 kgs in total, and the revenue what you got is 18,900. So this is how you create a pivot and create a slicer. So you can you have so you have various options here to change uh, to some cosmetics. So this is all about the position. So I'm not gonna work on this. So you can, by default, it takes the style default. So you have the option to change it to different types. So you have the old header and you have flashy rows. So you can try various options under this. And also you have uh, for the slicer, when you click on the slicer and highlight it, you have the various option as well here. So you can change your background color. So right now it's turned off. So what I, I'll do is I'll just change the background color. So by the default, it's white. So let me uh, make it some customized color. Something like this blue, okay. And also you can add borders here. And by default, it shows black. Okay, and also you you have the options to add the headers. You can turn it on or off as per your requirements. And also you have selection controls here. So right now, show select all. You don't see the option of select all. So if you click on this, if you turn it on, you can see select all items. So, and also if you want to, if you want the user to select only one at a time. So you can enable single select on or off, you can turn off. So you can see, uh, you can see it gets highlighted. That's about selection items. If you want to change the item font color, you can go here and change it to something, probably I'll turn it to something like a dark gray. In the background, I'll leave as it is. So you can see the font color has changed. So these are some of the settings what you have for the slicer. And also coming to the pivot, you have the similar option in the metrics. So I, I, I showed you how to change the metric style. And also if you want to turn vertical grid, so you can turn it on. So you can see changes. You can notice the change. Okay, let me turn it on. And also the vertical grid color. I'm not gonna change the color here. And also you can turn your horizontal grid. So and just notice how it changes. You see, there is some changes in the line pattern on horizontally. And also you can change the grid color. So let me make it something black so that it's easy to notice, you see. And also you have the outline colors, outline weights, all those things here. Depends on the requirement, more of like it's more of the looks are more like subjective. And also coming to the row headers, you have the option to increase your, uh, change the row color, background color, font colors. So if you can change it to something else. Uh, let me bring it, make it as dark in the background, let it remain as it is. So step down, this is something which I can show you when you have more than two columns. So right now uh, we have only one column, so it doesn't make sense whether it's turned on or off. So you won't be able to notice the change. Probably in my coming videos when I'm working on in detail on metrics, I can give an overview of how it works and where we can use this. And you have the option to turn on URL icon. So I haven't used this really. So I don't know if you need, and also you can increase the text size here. This is about row headers. So something that will be very useful is like 
the subtotals. So you can turn your row subtotals on or off as per your requirement. But one thing you may need to make a note is like this will impact your performance. Assume that you have a huge number of data and you are doing a lot of calculation and you have a lot of uh, dimension in the pivot or metrics. So if you turn this on, so definitely it will have a severe impact on your performance. So make sure only if it's necessary to turn it on or off. So this is a good subtotals. And also coming to the grand totals, so you can you have, you don't have much option here. So just some of the color settings, cosmetics, and also you have the field formattings. Depends on what what you need. So what you need to display as a values. So example, quantity. I want to show within a decimal points of two. So you can change it here. And also if you want to change the font color, you can change it. I'm not going to do more on this and also condition of formatting so this is something we can cover uh, in the next video so uh, this is like more, it's more of like uh, i would say something like intermediate steps if you are doing condition of formatting based on some uh, derived values or something it's, it's probably i would say it's something next stage not for beginners and also you have other options like turn the title on off. If you want to enable the borders, you can enable it. And also as a lock aspect. And also enable background, background colors, all those things. So I think uh, to start with, I think it's uh, it's all helpful for the beginners. So probably might not be very interesting for the intermediate or experts, but definitely it's a good start for the business so we can do some experiments with this particular example and then if you have any questions you can just drop me a comment so probably i'll try to answer okay so that's all for today and hope you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up thank you see you in the next video